So if you've been wanting a battery bank, but the standard 18650 single cell battery banks you find all over the place these days is just a little bit too big, fear not. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own even smaller than the standard ones you'll find in your retail outlet. Okay, first things first, we start off with an actual little module. This is a USB 5 volt charge and power module. You'll find these all over eBay and a number of other places. They are available for around about one to two dollars. We'll also need a double A sized battery. Now these are not your standard uh, nickel cadmiums, nickel metal hydrides or alkaline batteries. These are a lithium battery at 3.7 uh, volts exactly the same size as your standard double A, but they are fully rechargeable just like the 18650 batteries. So in my example here, I'm not using a nipple topped battery, but I'm actually using a solder tabbed battery and I connect that to the positive and negative of my module. And that gives me the entire contents of our battery bank. I'm then pairing mine with a 3D printed case, only because I can, but if you can't, don't fret. All you need to do is find a cylinder or a square rectangle or even a solid piece of cardboard in order to be able to make yourself a permanent housing. First thing you'll need to do is you'll actually need to initialize the board with that cell that you've now connected. And you do that by simply connecting power. Uh, if yours has LED lights, they'll start to flash, etc., etc. But from that point on, once you've initialized the board and the battery together, you'll actually be able to power your five volt devices. And that is all there is to it, your own DIY miniature version of a portable power bank, small enough to be able to clip to the bottom of an iPhone uh, if you really want to uh, clip and go. Uh, but there you go. So that's all I've got time for this week. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you give the video a thumbs up and by all means subscribe and join me again next time.